Greetings and welcome to the Astronomy Picture of the Day podcast. Today's picture for December 23rd of 2023 is titled A December Summer Night. So what do we see here? Well, here we see a nice summer image taken in December. And how do we do that? Well, for many well, those of us who live in the northern hemisphere, that doesn't make much sense. However, if you live south of the equator, then you are in the summertime right now. So we have started summer in the southern hemisphere, just as winter has started in the northern hemisphere. Now this image taken in New Zealand actually shows many stars in the sky and you can see the star trails uh, which happens when you take a picture but you don't track the camera so you don't move the camera to account for the rotation of the earth. So with the camera moving then the sky will appear to rotate and that's what we're seeing here. So why do stars rise and set? Well that is because the earth is rotating and the stars will rise in the east and set in the west because Earth is rotating from west to east. And as they rotate, we will see them make circles in the sky. Now here in this shorter exposure, we just see little arcs as they start to make them and you can kind of get an idea that they are circles by looking at them all together. And you can see that they kind of converge at a point a little bit up and off the top of the frame a little bit to the right of the center. That would be the location of the south celestial pole, which around which all of the stars appear to rotate in the sky. Similarly, we have the north celestial pole and the northern hemisphere that would do the same thing. Now as we look at that so we can really locate the position here by watching the stars. Now unlike the north celestial pole which has the star Polaris relatively close to it there is no bright star close to the south celestial pole at this time. So we don't there's nothing there to highlight and tell us where it is. So doing something like this actually can give you a location of the south pole. There are other ways to find the pole using other stars in the sky to kind of locate it as well. Now we do see a couple of other things in this image as well. And if we look to the top left, you can actually see the Southern Cross, the star trails there uh, up to the upper left towards the top, very top of the image are the stars of the Southern Cross. Now down toward the middle, we actually see a bright yellow and blue star. So the blue star a little bit up and to the left and the yellow star down and to the right. That yellow star is a star very similar to our sun and known as Alpha Centauri. So a star very much like our own sun and actually the closest stellar system to our solar system. The blue star is Beta Centauri. So the next brightest star in this constellation of Centaurus. So we can see those up in the sky. And if you note, you can also see those two prominently reflected in the water down below. Now the other thing we'll see is actually the Aurora. Aurora, we often see very far northerly latitudes. We call that the Aurora Borealis or Northern Lights. This is the Aurora Australis or the Southern Lights and it's caused by the same process which is particles from the Sun that strike Earth's magnetic field and are funneled down in the direction of the North and South magnetic poles. So the closer you get to those magnetic poles the more likely you are to see the Aurora here and you can see kind of that green and reddish glow that we see here in the sky. So that was our picture of the day for December 23rd of 2023. It was titled a December summer night. We'll be back again tomorrow for the next picture previewed to be a cosmic cocoon. So we'll see what that is about tomorrow. And until then, have a great day everyone. And I will see you in class.